guys, I'm back with another video today and it's my June favourites. I had a lot of favourites this month, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start with one of the best things and that is makeup. I had to narrow it down quite a little bit, but I've picked four things that I've been totally loving this month. Now the first product I'm going to talk about is the Illamasqua Hydravel Primer and I only have this in sample form, but even the sample has made me fall in love with that and I need to need to need to get the full size because it's amazing. It's a gel formula primer and usually I'm totally against primers, they just don't usually work with my skin because I have quite dry skin and I find that the texture just doesn't work well and it doesn't really smooth it out, it just makes it worse but this one does. It keeps my skin hydrated and it allows me to put a foundation on top which works really well and it looks super smooth and lasts all day long. On to my favourite base this month and it is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and I think you'll probably all know by now that I love this foundation. It's the only foundation that I've matched properly with my skin and that is why it is still staying in my favourites. I think actually I showed it in my current makeup favourites video a while ago and it's a firm favourite so that's why it's still here. And now I've got two lip products and first up I've got the Paul and Joe Glossy Lip Colour in 01. This is actually a nude lip gloss and usually I'm either not into lip glosses or not into nudes but this has really got me into them. It's really subtle, it works really well with my skin tone because I have quite pigmented lips anyway and this is quite a pigmented nude. It's more on the like pinky ready side but it just works really well, it's not too sticky and I love the way it looks. Now the second lip product I've got is the Dior Rouge... Dior lipstick in 638 which is blazing red and it is my favourite favourite lipstick. It's the one I've been wearing loads lately. When I first got it actually I didn't really like it that much as I thought it was too orangey but recently I've been really getting into it and it's the only red I seem to be wearing at the minute. Sometimes I will layer an Illamasqua matte lipstick underneath it just to make sure it lasts a little bit longer and they work really nicely together but this is a definite favourite of mine. Now onto the nails and I've got the Barry Ann Jelly High Shine Nail Paint in Greenberry and I'm actually wearing it now, it's really really pretty, super bright for the summer and we all know how amazing the Barry Ann Jelly polishes are, I won't go on about them too much but if you don't use them you need to but anyway this colour is so pretty and once I've finished wearing this this time I can assure you I will be painting it again. Now I've got a nail file which is strange because I never thought that I would include one in favourites before but hey ho I've got the style file and this is the nail care collection which includes the S file, the emergency file and the S buffer. The S file is actually my favourite it's got a curved edge which makes it so much easier to file the nails and they're really affordable so if you do want to give it a go then it's not the end of the world if you don't love it as much as I do. Now I've got a body cream and I've got the body shop body butter in Shea and it is an amazing amazing scent. It literally just smells I don't know how to describe it, it smells like creamy, I don't even know what I'm saying, but go into the store and sniff it, you'll really really like it. I used to find when I used to work that if I wasn't, if like people weren't sure what sort of scent they'd like I would always take them to the sheer and they always really liked it. It's quite a neutral scent so you can still put a perfume on top and it keeps your skin so hydrated. With it being the summer season we need to keep our legs really hydrated and moisturised because we're getting them out a little more and this is perfect for that. So go on girls, go and pick one of these up, you won't regret it. And I'm on to talking about a hair product and it is a Volume and Bounce Texturising Spray from Charles Worthington and I actually spoke about this in my last video which was the Halo Bridge tutorial which if you haven't watched already you totally should and it's so easy for everyone to do. But the reason why I love this so much is that it just gives such a beautiful look to the hair and it's so easy to apply, you literally just spray it through the hair, you can give a little zhuzh and it literally just looks so much more volumised, so much more texturised and the effect is just insane and it's the great thing about it is that it's got hold as well so it will actually last. And the next couple of favourites are actually some non-beauty favourites and the first one is a food item and it's the Naked Cashew Cookie Bar and I have become obsessed with these. I've been trying to keep a little bit more healthy the past month which hasn't completely worked as I like pizza too much but these have been helping me and it was Gemma from Beauty Spotter that got me totally totally obsessed with them and actually Beauty Spotter is another favourite this month as I work for them and it's been the funnest job ever. It's a beauty app which is for salon discovery and if you haven't checked out already you totally should do because it's really great and the next item is another food item and it is popcorn 
Oh, I flipping love this stuff. So I'm usually a salted popcorn kind of gal, but this sweet coconut and vanilla flavour is insane. It's from Proper Corn, and I actually first came to discover this when I received it in a goodie bag from Grabble, which was an amazing, amazing event, so thank you Grabble for that. But this has become my latest obsession. I love coconut, and this is so dreamy. If you haven't tried it, you need to, and it's a little bit better for you than a normal snack, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with it. It's beautiful, and you need to try it. And now on to my last two favourites. I have one TV series and one YouTuber, and the TV series is Orange is the New Black. It's so good. I've been really getting into it lately, actually. After seeing so many people talk about it, I just thought I had to give it a watch. And at first I was a little sceptical as it wasn't usually my kind of thing, but it's so addictive and I am totally into it now. Me and Cal and my boyfriend are literally watching it obsessively. We watch like five episodes a day, it's not healthy. <laughs> but once we're through it, we're going to be through it soon. It's not going to be a good day and we're going to be holding on greatly for the next episode. And the YouTuber is Estee from Essie Button. I have been loving her vlogs this month. Vloon as she calls it, which is amazing, and she's hilarious, and if you don't watch her channel, which I'm sure you already do, but if you don't, you need to go and watch her. And that's all my favourites, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, it would be amazing if you could like, and if you don't subscribe to me already, then subscribe, as I've got lots more videos like this coming up. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!